Hello everybody. Welcome again to another video in Clean 8-Bit. Today we are going to be cleaning this dirty boy. The Xbox One controller. I bought this controller about 4 years ago. I ended up selling the Xbox but I kept the remote and now I always use it when I'm uh, playing games on my PC games where I know that I, it doesn't have to be competitive I just use this remote instead of using the mouse and keyboard as you can tell the color of this remote being white it is prompt to get dirty quickly I don't know how well you can see in the video but in this area here uh, it collects some dirt and also under the joysticks uh, this area here is not too bad this other joystick it's also dusty underneath there and of course you want to get all around the controllers on top here there is um, you also like to collect dust and oil from your fingers and on the back where your fingers wrapped around it you can see here scuff marks from whatever things that you've been eating most likely your Doritos you can see here more dark areas I think I do love the aesthetic of this remote with the golden triggers on top and the golden d-pad I was thinking to upgrading to the Xbox S series controller but I don't think there has been a lot of improvements to the new controller that is worth upgrading for so I think I'm gonna keep this version of the remote for a while so the first thing we're gonna need is as always trusty alcohol now I'm using 91% but you can use 70% as well and as you can see I think I've been drinking this because it's already running low the second thing I'll use but it's probably not necessary is this brush. I want to make sure I dust out any big pieces of dust that are stuck under the sticks. The third thing we're going to use are a couple of these coffee filters. You can buy these ones for cheap at any market. And the reason why we're going to use coffee filters and not regular paper towels like we always do is because these don't leave any residue behind. And the fourth thing we're going to use are a couple of these uh, cleaning swabs that I have a bunch of as you can see especially this one here we're going to use because it has a pointy end okay so we have laid out everything we need to start cleaning the remote let's get to it so first we're going to brush it out and hold it again this step is probably not necessary since we're going to be cleaning it with alcohol and the coffee filters However, the reason why I do this is because what happens when you pour any liquid on dirt? It just turns into mud. So that's what happens if uh, there's like a lot of dust on top of this controller. It's just going to get even more dirty. So I don't want to turn this into mud. I just want to really wipe it out clean, clean. I really love the Xbox One controllers. They just fit in your hand a lot better than the PlayStation controllers do. They just look better and feel better. They have a heft to it. When I picked up a PS4 controller, it just felt like it was gonna break on my hands. Okay, so that's enough dusting. Now I'm gonna grab one of these coffee filters and I am going to fold it in half. I'm actually gonna fold it in four. Like this. And then I'm gonna break the alcohol. Pour some alcohol here, just a little, it doesn't have to be a lot, just like that. Okay, then we're gonna grab the controller and start going over the general surface area. Just like this. Go over much as I can. It does feel like the alcohol dries up pretty quickly on the filters. So I'm gonna put a little more. Okay. And then back here where the scuff mark. The scuff. Hmm. What do you know? It does leave residue behind still. Even if it's a coffee filter, 
think because this area of the remote is like sticky. I'm just gonna use another part of the filter. It seems like that other one was already getting destroyed, falling apart. And that's why it was leaving residue. All right, so we got most of the big surface area with the coffee filter. So I think we're done with that. I'm gonna put it over there. Make sure we wipe this out. Okay, so now we're gonna use the big surface area swab, large surface area, and soak it up with alcohol. Damp it a little bit here because I think I put too much alcohol in the swab. And then we are going to go through some areas where the coffee filter couldn't reach. Like underneath the joysticks, like so. Just move the joystick out of the way. Just go around it like this. Okay, that looks good. And then over here too. Go around this area. Go here in between the buttons. Still not perfectly clean yet. But we'll get back to it with the pointy swab and also this area around the d-pad this swab is having a hard time reaching in there but that's why we have the other one so i don't know how well you can see but the dirt is there on top of this so this did a lot too to clean off a lot of the dirt and move this stuff out of the way Okay, and for the last step, we are going to use the pointy pointy end swab, sticking with the pointy end. And then, just like to pour it in here. There you go. Now it has alcohol in it. And we are gonna have some fun. First thing we're gonna do is clean the Xbox symbol Go very slowly like that. Oh, listen to that sound, guys. Listen, listen to the sound. That's like squeaky clean. <laughs> I like that sound. And then just use the same pointy end to go all over this area here again. Because this gets in there better than the other one. We're also gonna go here in the on the D-pad go around there like that right in the very corners and the edges of the d-pad try to get everything clean you're not going to miss a spot okay now we are also going to use this under the d-pad Here, here, over in there. So I'm pulling the D-pad backwards and I'm using the swab in here, like so. All around there. And then on the other side as well, the other D-pad, that's what I meant. Here and here. Well, Sorry, I'm covering the view. Sometimes forget. Pay attention to what you're seeing. Okay, let me go here, here. And this is a clean D pad now. I think it's ready to go. I'm not too happy around what happened in this area here because the dirt didn't really, doesn't really want to come out. Let me bring back the filter. Let me 
there we go. Seems like when I go like this with the suave, the dirt tends to come out better than with the coffee filter. I feel like the coffee filter is not abrasive enough to clean anything off. Hmm. I see something else in this area here that looks dark. There's another scuff mark here. I don't know if you guys saw it at the beginning, but that is not dirt. That is, I don't even know what that is, honestly. Just gonna try to do it with this and my nail. Oh, it is coming off. What do you know? Ta-da! It's gone. Awesome. Woo, I amazed myself. All right, let's put this away. Let's get this. Guys, don't forget to clean your remotes, especially if you use them a lot. Uh, I see some people that have controllers that look so, so disgusting. Like so dirty, Cheetos, and dirt, and food and oil all over their remotes. Just keep your controller clean. But there we have it, guys. A clean Xbox One controller. Oh yeah. All right, well, thank you so much for sticking into the end. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to share this video to anybody you know who has a very dirty controller. And don't forget to clean eight bits.